Okay, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, guys, we are going to be doing yet again a starting guide for players in FNAF Tower Defense. Before so many comments, I made one of these like two weeks ago. Well, that's because I plan on doing one of these every time there's a major update because, you know, you obviously, if somebody go watch my other video, the Season 3 event was out. So maybe the stuff that I said there doesn't really apply anymore. So, you know, I'm going to be doing an updated one every time a new season drops or every time a new event like the military one comes out, I will be dropping one. So, yeah, cope with that. Anyways, let's go ahead and get straight into the video, guys. But if you guys could like subscribe, that would mean a lot because, you know, my channel is small. So if you guys do that, it will boost a lot. Just comment something, please, 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 so it helps boost the video. I don't know. Comment your favorite FNAF 4 animatronic. Me personally, probably Nightmare Foxy. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Starting off with you load into the game, right? First thing you want to do is look up some codes. There's always some codes. Did I use the new code that they dropped for Season 4? I actually don't think I did, guys. So what you do to put in codes, you there's codes on their Discord. If you go in the Discord section, I believe if I go, where is it? It's the settings and then uh, update 9 is the new code. Oh, uh, update, all caps, 9, that's the new code. You put that in and okay, there's no new code for update 9. Great. They didn't drop a season 4, I mean season 3 code, which is weird, but whatever. Anyways, you would usually do that assuming that there was a code, but just put in the code so you get your stuff. Now, there's a couple things you gotta understand about this game. You got presence, you got spinnings, and you got enchantments, and you also got the index. So, let's just get start off with the seven, right? Because you got some gold from spin from uh, the codes, and you wanna go ahead and spin for some units. These units are very early game units, mid game, unless you're talking about some mythicals or like secrets and nightmares, because some of them can be used kind of in the late game. Oh my god, Fred is here, guys. Shout out to Fred. Um, so, yeah, but when you're beginning into the game, best unit i can recommend is uncommon freddy uncommon freddy is going to help you so 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 much and you can also have enchants which are these things that you can add to your unit i would recommend getting speed three because freddy already has a low cooldown plus a speed three he's just going to do a lot more damage he's just going to attack a lot faster i think it's way more worth it than range range is kind of useless on freddy but it's a lot better than damage at least in my opinion like speed three freddy carried me in the early when, when i was early game and also you can get these things called remnants just from playing the game uh you like this if i get an uncommon remnant i use it on my freddy for example as you can see it becomes i have over here a shiny speed 3 freddy and this gives it 25 percent damage as well as the minus 30 percent from speed 3 so this becomes a very very good unit for early game definitely definitely use it now back then in my other video i explained that you know this game has presents which are these events that from these presents you can get these units and back then phantom foxy which was the easiest one to get was actually a really really good unit for beginner but now we have this freddy this freddy it's still a good unit if you can get these freddy or this chica that's still a pretty good unit for you to have like obviously if i have him over let me see do i have him over here i have him over here he is a melee unit 80 to 60 damage similar stats to you know uh the, the foxy but i do think he's a little bit better so just use them to replace that and then if you're gonna roll for any mythics the one i recommend the most is balloon boy at least for early game because he has the splash damage which is gonna help you out a lot he's gonna be a very expensive unit and since you're in early game it's gonna be hard to place him down but you can do it and it's gonna be pretty easy now here's something very very important you have the marketplace and i know that you're gonna put in your code so you're gonna have a lot of souls and you're gonna be very tempted tempted to go ahead and buy some units now you gotta be very careful not to get scammed there's a lot of people i know all the people selling presents are gonna be mad at me for this but there are people selling the season four presents and since they just came out people are selling them for like 50 souls and people are buying it this is like the best way to make souls right now but the or like the season three presents because people still want to get those units but don't buy the presents it's useless if you spend 50 souls on one present what if you just go ahead and buy a freddy that's the equivalent of spending 50 souls on a freddy so don't do that that's useless but if you have a couple souls i wouldn't mind if you guys went ahead and you know bought like maybe like let me see what's maybe you bought if somebody has uh over right here a five let's see five souls for balloon boy early game this is good those five souls you're probably gonna get like not even a good spin from that so i would recommend getting this mythic balloon boy like probably beginning to the game i would get this mythical balloon boy because it's gonna be worth it he's gonna be a unit it's gonna help me through the game so that for use it this cheek is also pretty good but 150 is not worth the price so don't do that but again like i said maybe get this well this uh balloon boy and stuff and just get those units and look up the units and maybe get them if they're like five to ten spins max but that's the most I'll, max i'll spend like five of them but anyways definitely go ahead and purchase those units to make your team okay you make your team you already go know that basically by the end of the season you need to have all these four units so then you get the nightmare marionette which is kind of a whack unit low-key like i feel like this one should always be the main main person like catching attention because like last season it was spring trap and everybody wanted spring trap because it's spring trap so 
But like Nightmare Marionette is just not that shiny character. I'd much prefer if that was Nightmare's position. If Nightmare was the unit up here, that'd be a lot more tough. But you know, whatever. Speaking of the battle pass, if you're a beginner to the game, I definitely recommend buying the battle pass. You're gonna get a lot of gold from it. You're gonna get gold from it. You're gonna get three units, which are usually solid. Fredbear is not really that good early game, but the other two are pretty solid. You get a bunch of souls. And you get 18 presents, so it's definitely, definitely worth it. This battle pass is really, really good, so I definitely recommend going ahead and buying the battle pass. Beginners to the game, don't play military. Stay focused over here in the story mode. Progress to the story. I did see some people saying that you can go to military and go ahead and get the epic puppet because it's pretty easy to get from a couple presents. And yes, that is true. But it's a very good unit. If you're struggling through story mode, definitely come to military. Play just a little bit to get that military puppy, puppet, and puppy. Oh my god, puppet, uh, and then go back to doing story mode. But you really want to focus on story mode so you can go ahead and unlock infinite mode, so you can go ahead and grind more presents. You can also go to the AFK arena because the AFK arena is going to give you coins, and it's also going to drop you. I don't have any, but it's going to drop you glitched presents, and the glitched presents will um, drop. Well, can, can give you a chance of getting this nightmare puppet, but it's very rare. But it will also give you this cupcake unit, which is not even bad. So you use it uh, right here, where it's a glitch cupcake. So you can still use it. It's not even that bad, so use it. Um, make sure you guys also join a clan, because the clan units are pretty solid. As you can see, this is the nightmare cake unit. Look at this. Pretty solid unit, so I definitely recommend just going it because if you're in the game, and you also want to try to complete the index. The index is obviously the more characters you get, the more coin boost you get. As you can see, I unlocked 55 characters, so I have 1.25 coin boost. If I unlock 60 characters, that will go up to I believe 1.30. I don't know. And you also get stuff for completing games. If I complete all of these for game one, then I'm going to get 15 souls. But I don't really plan on doing that because that one takes so 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 long but definitely do the characters at least like unlocking a bunch of characters so you can go ahead and play them don't forget to claim your playtime stuff a lot of people forget to claim that as well as your login bonus let me claim that oh we got a present we'll open it we got a uh, season four present look at that i forgot to claim it for three days items let's claim it exclusive three pack and nightmare chica okay could have been could have eh, been a foxy man could have been a foxy could have been a could have been a nightmare bunny, but you know, whatever. But yeah, that's the main premise of it. So just focus on story mode, focus over here. And one last thing is stay away from the Robux, like stuff other than the battle pass. You don't need these units. You don't need this one. You don't need this one. Don't spend Robux on this. Uh, if you have the starter pack on your screen, I don't know if he's still there, but if you have the Fredo starter pack on your screen, I'd recommend you buying it for 250. If you guys want to go look at my other video, the Fredo's review, because I think he was pretty solid. I don't know. I don't think he's still available to buy, but if he does appear at some point, get it. Crying Child, stay away from you. Don't need him at early game. So yeah, definitely stick away from that. But anyways, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below if this helped you at all. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.